all right guys welcome back to the other video in this video i'm going to talk about k-mean clustering which is the one of the popular machine learning framework for uh, unsupervised learning so let's get started all right so before diving into the coding section i want to little bit explain about k-mean clustering algorithm so the k-mean clustering is an algorithm that uh, partition or data set into k clusters by iteratively assigning data points to the nearest centroid and updating centroid based on the assigned point so it coverage uh, when centroid stabilize and then the final output is a set of k cluster it's represented by its uh, centroid so centroid lies um, somewhere in the center of one cluster and k-mean is uh, sensitive to initialize and may require multiple run to choose the base result but uh, it's uh, already implemented in the uh, scikit learn library so you don't need to like deal much of the things with the uh, data set i mean the implementation part so you you just need to like write few line of code and then you are ready to go so okay so let me start uh, the coding section now okay let me import few packages first uh, so sorry uh, i need to write it here so import pandas is pd and then also i need to import the my library scikit-learn dot cluster cluster import k-mean uh, k-means and then i i also need I want to import folium because uh, i want to work with some geospatial data and then also i'll import the matplotlib dot pipe plot is plt and also i want to import c1 uh, it's also for the data visualization sns and then i want to write matplotlib in line to plot all the data without like selecting plt dot so plot lib in line okay these are my inputs so for this particular task uh, i want to work with the uber data set so i got this data set from uh, uh, kaggle i'll uh, i'll provide you the link to the data set if you want to work with the same data set so first of all we need to uh, like uh, load the data set so it's inside data directory and then uber data set and then uber clean dot csv and if you see the df dot head so it simply contain date time and then latitude longitude and then base i don't know what this base mean and then the date okay uh, i think it's just the day of week so if i show you in the uh, data set in the excel sheet so it's the same date time lat long base and date okay so basically what i want here is i just want to cluster this data uh, randomly based on the latitude and longitude feature so in order to do so so i'll just select the uh, my latitude and longitude features so lat and long uh, it will select the latitude and longitude if you see the x dot head so you will only see the lat and long feature i remove date time base and date from my x variable okay so after that i want to initialize my model so to initialize model simply you can write model equal to k means okay k means and number of clusters you need to uh, give the input and which is uh, for me let me try with seven 
but of course definitely you can change this value because it's uh, up to you how many clusters you want just for this example i am writing it as seven and then if i uh, show you other available options so there are i think few options available in this method but yeah of course you can provide these things but yeah for me it's okay i'm just simply giving the number of clusters and then now y k means uh, which is the our result will be model dot fit predict okay yaks and then um, i can run it so it will take some time to run my model uh, i think i have 1000 somewhere between 1 uh, lakh 40000 data set uh, so yeah if you see the see the y value so y k means will be uh, simply the array containing uh, number from 0 to 7 and then uh, if you want to store it in the uh, our actual data set so you can write df y equal to y k mean okay so it will store the result in into our data um, data frame so which is y is here it is the our actual result actual cluster so now i'm going to plot my uh, data into the matplotlib library first and then after that i'll plot my data into the map so in order to plot the scatter plot so simply you can write plt dot scatter and then df based on my x-axis will be longitude and then my y-axis will be latitude and then uh, i want to okay so first of all run let me run this and uh, which is uh, this data so my data is is scattered like this my uh, these are the this particular dot represent the location of the uber taxi and uh, okay so if i want to see my result as well so you can write df y which is the y value based on colorized based on y values so okay it might take some time to calculate all right so this is my result these are the clusters based on my k-mean clustering algorithm and based on my latitude and longitude values so you can try different things so maybe you can try to reduce the number of clusters or increase the number of cluster maybe if i say let's say if i select three then my number of clusters will be different so okay it's running all right these are my cluster so you might have noticed that uh, one tricky thing here is uh, to select the number of clusters so in order to select this number of cluster effectively so you can run the for loop with different number of cluster and check the accuracy i mean uh, the effect impact of this model all right the number of cluster will be selected based on elbow method so what i mean is uh, you need to like write the for loop uh, which iteratively run on number of clusters and then see the uh, inertia value of that came in clustering and then select the uh, good came in uh, i mean cluster number of clusters value so in order to do so so maybe uh, based on number of three clusters so you can see the uh, modal accuracy by uh, like modal dot uh, in er inertia and then you will see some number and then if you plot this these numbers into the uh, i mean line chart then you will see which uh, value would be good so let me show you how to do that 
so for this uh, maybe you can write w c s s equal to uh, first of all uh, mpt dictionary and then for i in range 1 to 11 um, you can write your modal part here so maybe i'll simply copy this modal part over here and then this time the number of cluster will be i and then y mean will be our uh, mean value and then uh, you can write okay um okay um then w c s s dot append and then you need to write y k means uh, dot i n e r t i a inertia okay or maybe uh okay run it oh sorry uh i need to write model dot inertia because uh i'm going to add accuracy in the model and then simply for the uh, plotting the results so you need to write matplotlib code all right in order to plot those uh, wcss value which is within cluster sum of square value so i wrote a code plt dot plot and then uh, within our range and then actual value of uh, sum of square value and then if i show you this graph so what it mean is like sum of square is high uh, if we have the cluster value as one but it will gradually decreasing uh, if we increase the number of clusters so you 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 can select any particular uh, number of clusters based on this graph so how much error you want uh, or how much like adjustment you want in model so based on this graph so you try to see the elbow of that hand if you consider this as a hand then uh, you have to select the elbow value uh, maybe uh, I think the value of 5 will be the best for this number of clusters so you can write 5 but for me I think it's okay I am going to um, consider it as a, a 3 value I mean number of cluster will be 3 so let me rerun this code again and okay all right in my next step i want to visualize this data in the actual map uh, which is the folium map uh, in the back background it run leaflet js so i want to visualize this in leaflet so in order to do do that so let me uh, take the subset of data because it's quite heavy as i uh, as i told you previously it's a uh, one lakh forty thousand data set so let me take a few samples so df will be df and then uh and maybe um two thousand points and um i have to also select the uh separate the different level value so in order to do that so what i'll do is uh cluster one will be cluster one will be df and then um, i need to select my uh, lat and long value lon value and then also i have to select the df uh, y value which is uh, i think equal to equal to zero uh, sorry um, df y value which equal to zero this is my first cluster so if i write values and the to list and uh, it will give me the list of uh, first clusters okay so these are the coordinates of the first cluster so similarly i can write it for the second cluster and then third so okay uh first cluster second cluster and third cluster and then value will be one and two okay 
So these are my three clusters. In order to visualize it in the uh, folium map, so let me uh, copy and paste few line of code here. Okay, so this is my map. So which is zoom into the this location lat and long value, and then zoom level will be ten, and then tile will be open street map. And now in order to add the data, so you just need to like add few line of code so let me copy and paste code here so okay so for the cluster one so you need to like write i in cluster one and then folium dot circle marker and then uh, edit to map right okay if i run this and then if i type map so you will see the first cluster value right similarly you you can add other clusters as well so okay simply copy this and then paste it two times and just change the color and other things blue red and then maybe green and then fill color will be red light red and light green okay and then uh, cluster 2 and this will be my cluster 3 okay so okay so these are my values lat long values so you can see that red cluster is over here and then uh, blue cluster is over here and then green is over here i think uh, when i subset my data so number of points in each cluster is not same that's why it looks uh, green looks a little bit uh, odd here so yeah so in this way you can simply make a clusters uh, using chemin clustering algorithm I hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.